if you're looking for a last minute gift for friends or family, this easy and affordable do-it-yourself sugar scrub is perfect. The sugar scrub is really a great gift for anyone and it only takes a couple minutes of your time to make it, which makes it perfect if you're running out of time to find birthday or Christmas gifts. This is a simple gift that your friends and family will actually use because it smells great and is super, super hydrating. So here's the supplies that you need. I love Hobby Lobby, so I go there quite often and I get my mason jars there. So these are eight ounce jars that you can get with a spoon with it and they're $2.99 each. And if you do want to save a little bit of money, you can go to their website for a 40% off coupon. The food coloring is of course optional if you'd like to add a little bit of color to it and it'll bind to the sugar so it doesn't stain your skin, but you can definitely make it without any color as well. I know some people really like to add that little pop of color just to kind of make it stand out a little bit, but it's definitely optional. The body do is something you can get with your pyramids consultant. And most of you have already tried this before and love it. So really you can use any scent and it is $22 for the entire bottle. When I made seven of these, I only used, I use about like half of a bottle, if that. So you're not going to even use the entire bottle, which is awesome. Granulated sugar, if you do want that sugar scrub uh, texture, and that of course you can get at any grocery store, one to two mixing bowls. So if you don't want to use any food coloring, you can definitely just use one mixing bowl. I did use two because I decided I did want to use a little pink color. The measuring cup is just to get the sugar out of the bag. You really don't need to measure anything, which I'll talk a little bit more about that. And I, I really like just being able to eye it. You don't need to have exact measurements for anything. And then a spoon or a spatula to mix the food coloring uh, the body do as well as the sugar. So with, if you're going to be using uh, two bowls, one for food coloring and one without, this is the best and easiest part. Like I said before, you don't have to worry about exact measurements. On the right, you see I poured a little bit of the body do and the sugar. So you're just gonna continue to mix it until there's no loose sugar left. And it looks like the picture on the left. If you feel that you put too much oil in it, you can easily add more sugar and vice versa. If you're mixing the sugar and it's just a little bit loose, add a little bit more oil and you are good to go. But this is not something that you have to stress about with exact measurements. This is what it looked like with the food coloring. So like I said, I use that second bowl just for the food coloring. So if you do want a lighter color, use two to three drops max. A little bit goes a long way with food coloring and just make sure you mix it well. Here's what it looks like when all said and done. If you wanna get super crafty, you can put stickers on the lid or glue ribbon on the side of the jar. But if you'd like to keep it simple too, you can easily just do a Christmas bowl if you're doing this for Christmas gifts. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this do-it-yourself sugar scrub, which is perfect for gifts for multiple friends or family members, or if you're running out of time, enjoy.